This week on Maker Update, a Bluetooth boombox with a built-in visualizer, Tech Shop bounces back, a Circuit Python pixel painter, a bag for your screws, animatronic eyes, and glue tips for cosplay. It's Wednesday, I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. I hope you're all doing great. I know everyone's busy with the holidays right now, so I'm gonna keep this one short. Let's get right into it, starting with the project of the week. I've seen a lot of DIY Bluetooth speakers, but this one by Modustrial Maker is on a whole other level. He made a wireless boombox with a built-in sound reactive LED display that includes multiple visualization modes. The project breaks down into three main chunks. There's the woodworking involved in creating the enclosure, which is sharp. Then there's the electronics involved for the audio, the speakers, the Bluetooth speaker board, the power jack and on off switch. Then there's the LED matrix, which is a 16 by 16 NeoPixel matrix driven by an Arduino Mega with a microphone wired in to modulate the lighting. The matrix of LEDs are behind a sheet of semi-opaque acrylic that give it that diffused look. There's even an adjustable rod inside to bring the LEDs closer or further from the panel to adjust the diffusion. That detail alone is something I'd love to see in other projects. It's time for some news. This week, the tech shop chain of makerspaces here in the US has bounced back from the grave. As reported by Make, an outside partnership is acquiring all of tech shop's assets and will begin reopening locations and rehiring employees as soon as possible. And while this is great news, especially for those of you with memberships, it remains to be seen what the new owners will do differently to make tech shop financially successful. But after reading an interview on Adafruit with the new managing partner, Dan Rasher, I'm optimistic. You can find a link to that interview in the show notes. One more project I just have to share this week on Adafruit, the Ruiz brothers have a fun guide on making a pixel painter wand for creating persistence of vision graphics in thin air. The project uses a Feather M0 express board, a rechargeable battery, and a strip of high density dot star LEDs. There's a great guide for this project with clear step-by-step photos and code and files for 3D printing the handle and wand. You'll also learn how to create and load compatible graphics and some long exposure techniques for photographing the results. I've seen some other great POV projects like this on Adafruit, but this is the first one I've seen using CircuitPython. It's time for another cool tools review. This time we're looking at the Bucket Boss Parachute Bag. I got this for around $12 on Amazon. And if you want this exact same one, you can use the Amazon link in the description, which helps support my videos and the cool tools blog. Until recently, I've not had a great way for organizing screws. I'd buy them, bring them home in a box, and then put that box in a bigger box just for screws. It worked, but it didn't travel well without screws going all over the place. The parachute bag has deep pockets that can hold your screws and keep them separated. You've got six main pockets plus 13 little ones around the outside, good for screwdrivers and extra bits. The best part is that a cord here on the side cinches the whole thing up. Not only does it make it compact and easy to carry around, but with the plastic stop pulled in, it does a great job preventing anything from spilling out. You can toss this in the back of your car and not worry about it spilling. On the ground opened up, the weight of the screws and the flat bottom keeps everything stable. The main pockets are made from a thick canvas and overall, this feels like something that's gonna take years of abuse without tearing. Also, as the name brand implies, these are made to perfectly fit inside of a common five gallon bucket. I learned about parachute bags from watching a great video about screws on the Essential Craftsman YouTube channel, which I recommend checking out. I'll link to his video in the description here, where you'll also find an Amazon link to this Bucket Boss bag. And remember, you can see thousands of reader recommended tools just like this at cool-tools.org. A few other tips to share with you over on Caleb Craft's new blog, The Gru, there's a great roundup of six animatronic eye mechanisms that you can 3D print. These are all servo-based designs that you could easily connect up to a servo tester board or an Arduino. The new issue of Magpie is out, issue number 64. This one is all about Pi projects that connect up to electronics. The guide in here is great for getting started with electronics and is a great read, especially if you're more comfortable with programming than breadboarding and you're ready to branch out. As always, the entire magazine is available as a free PDF download. Finally, over on the Wayne's Workshop channel, there's a great overview of the three most common glues used for making cosplay costumes and when to use them. 
He goes over hot glue, contact glue, and CA glue, but for each one, he has some tips and advice that makes it worth your time. I learned a lot. And that's it for this week's show. Be sure to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, pick up a parachute bag to wrangle your screw collection, and sign up for the email list to get these show notes emailed out to you automatically every week. All right? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.